This is the site in White River Junction, Vermont, where my store, Artful Living, my studio and store, it just had a pop-up where I'm deciding whether or not to rent this space. It's right across the parking lot from Putnam's Vineyard and Elixir Restaurant, two fabulous businesses in White River Junction, Vermont, and a whole bunch of other businesses as well right in the neighborhood. This is the entrance inside the garage door opening. Um, I put a piece out and some flowers out and my sign so people could find me for the weekend long pop-up. And right now it's a roofing company, but he very kindly let me come in for the weekend. And here's the overview of what the little space looked like. I, you know, we swept and cleaned it up a little bit and then I brought in a whole bunch of color. So I'll just bring you in and show you some of the products that I have right now. The first is a student desk that's a music themed desk. You may have seen the, um, the bass clef on the left side and here's the treble clef on the right side. And then um, it has a slide out um, a table there for the computer desk and the um, some little fun artwork and drawers. And also um, I have some small four by four inch paintings on the top and six by six inches. And it, there's a little bit of a sunflower theme going on in this little collection of paintings. They're all available. I don't have them individually listed on my website, but they are all available. And then this table has more uh, four by fours, and these are um, abstract flowers um, with a collaged base, four by four and a six by six. This is a wooden lamp with a painted base and a painted lampshade. My new sticker collection has just come in. The Tada sticker is $2 each or three for five. And the Make sticker is $3 each or two for five. Um, and so the stickers are really fun. They just came in. These cards are each an independent, each one is an original artwork with a card, a blank card, and then has its own handmade envelope with a, made out of a map or in some cases a plain piece of paper. I've also used the clay-based paint I use for furniture on these terracotta planters. These um, are very cute and sweet. Uh, then original artwork, again, some um, abstract florals with a paper base. And these are on paper, it's a paper artwork. So it's a little less expensive than the canvas artworks. Um, then there's this collection of abstract faces. Each one has its own name. Each one is an original artwork of multimedia art. Um, there, this isn't a huge close-up photo of each one, but it does give you a sense of the pieces. And each one does have some three-dimensionality to it, as well as a rich array of color. So those are each available, and they are on like a watercolor paper. The first piece of furniture that you get, or the next piece of furniture you get to see here is this uh, antique buffet that I've done up with uh, blues, blended blues, and um, the copper patina, both dripping and in patterns all over the top and all over the piece. And there are two textured uh, canvas artworks that can go with the piece. Um, they have a, a lot of texture to them and the same blues and copper. And then these two torches for a backyard, say, are available as well. And these two stools are from the new collection, brand new release collection. They're a, a really fun little bar stool painted with a blue jean faux finish um, and, and, of course, a jean pocket to sit on. <laughs> and they go together as a pair. Then two multimedia artworks, very, very florals, very maximalist. Now here's a collection of clothing, and you may not be used to seeing clothing from me, but that's because I haven't had the space for it. The first pair was a painted pair. This pair is an ice dyed pair of pants. This is a pair, uh, this is, excuse me, a jacket, a batiked jacket. Um, all linen with uh, mostly blue and white, but a few little red hearts. This is a hand cut piece of leather that can be used as a sort of cape 
or an overgarment. And batiked pants and nutmeg with using a bone for the batik. This is a fall light scarf with a fall pattern on it. I did not make the scarf. And I batiked the t-shirt and the pants and they are both available. All those clothes are available. This is a vintage but new organic t-shirt with a painted pattern on it. And uh, I have painted the lampshade on that lamp and that beautiful blue glass lamp. This is the Caribbean dresser. I have painted the entire thing and this top and the right hand side you will notice the color is not as vibrant as the rest and that's because it ha I have not waxed those two parts yet. That's to show the difference between waxed and unwaxed furniture when you're using DIY paints. Um, so I will be waxing those two and that Caribbean piece will be available. This piece also is from the new collection. It's Trees of Knowledge and it is a, mild, a small bookshelf. It has also not been uh, sealed yet and the buyer of it will decide whether they want me to wax it or put the regular top coat on it. Uh, this is the, one of our pumpkins, uh, fun pumpkins in the new series. This is a, a fun rose collection in the abstract floral collection. And this is from the new collection. This is a Moroccan table. It has a little bit more of a satin sheen to it as that top coat is on it instead of the wax top coat. So this is a little bit more, a, a little bit more of a gloss with some copper. And this is also from the new collection. This piece has two experimental phases on it, both the textured top, which is not usually done on furniture, but I did do on this piece. And the art on the front panel is carved in into multi layers of paint. You have to really see this piece to understand, but it is obviously an abstract floral on many layers here, many layers of uh, florals going on here on this fun, fun piece. So here's the other side of Trees of Knowledge here. Then we're around to a beautiful antique oak sideboard. It's a solid oak piece. The bottom with the poppies is finished and waxed and ready to go. The top piece, the new buyer will be able to tell me, do you want me to oil it or stain it or what? And the top mirrored piece, you will tell me if you want it those colors or a different color. And so I have not waxed the top half so that you can tell me what colors you want. You see some marks on that bot, on that oak piece on the top because I left some of the history. It was a very different color when I got it. These two um, sunflower pieces are on a paper art and so they're ready to go. And this piece is on canvas. Then I have some earrings that I've done on gold fill. And these are very high quality earrings. They're not, uh, you know, they're, they're, it's gold fill. It's not any kind of cheap earring wires and they're pretty fall collection. Um, so the colors are mostly oranges and greens and then some Swarovski crystals as well both uh, clear and colored ones. And another nice fall scarf. Again, I don't make any of the scarves, but I do offer them. These are all $20 a piece, the scarves. Then I have a selection of brushes. Some are the more value brushes, the ones on the left, and then the ones on the right are the paint pixie brushes, way over to the right in the back. Um, and they're made in the USA and really the high-end brushes for using DIY paint and a few other brushes as well that are of good value. This is a lamp that I use the golden ticket on to give it a nice sheen. And so you can see that the DIY products don't have to all be a huge amount of color. You can do something great just with the patinas. This is a textured painting that's a floral and I'm bringing you in close so you can see some of the layers of texture that are going on here so that the florals, each floral gets to have really quite a bit of texture going on. And these are two of the jumpstart journals that I offer. And it's meant as, um, there's a little bit of art on 
a lot of the pages, but not all, just as a way for someone who doesn't journal a lot to kind of give someone a, some hints and some jump start, sort of to help them get started with journaling and doodling for fun. And the last item would be this wildflower lamp. This was a gray lamp with a gray broken lampshade and I repaired the lampshade and um, painted and collaged the lampshade and painted and waxed the lamp itself. All in all, it was a wonderful weekend. It was, I got a really warm reception from everyone, gave out a lot of my business card slash bookmarks and took some orders for custom uh, painting jobs. And now I just need to decide if I want to go ahead and make the commitment and rent this space. What do you think?